Welcome to day 12 of our Panama Canal cruise. Today, we're crossing the Panama Canal. Hello, good morning. Good morning. What's going on? We're going through the Panama Canal. Uh, we're, looks like we're starting. Oh yeah, we're, we passed the bridge. Oh, where are we? Is that a lock over there? Panama Canal. Slowly, slowly. Where's the lock? That probably. We're gonna go towards the front. See the mirror floors. Gates. There's the sun coming behind. The two gates are solid, but weighing than six feet thick. New Zealand bridges across the top. Destination expert explain what's going on. There's boats there. That's a rowboat. It's a row, row, row your boat. What are those little vehicles that are on rails? 110, 104, 171. And then like we're gonna get flooded for all of them to race the ship. Are we there yet? This is the starboard, starboard side of the, the ship. And oh, and there's tugboats. There's tugboats so down. Tug or pull well. the ship. They just so kind of guide you know, uh, the ship today. while it's navigating through the canal. Yeah, the water level behind those gates. Higher than this, this side of the gate. How many feet do the water level going to rise? Uh, 75 feet. How much water? Here's a. What? 75 feet for the light. We are. We're oh, entering the right the side. Vehicle. The left is closed. Any photos, guys? There for you. We have red lights, green lights, yellow lights, signals, which are being red. Uh, by the pilot. So we are passing and through this gate now. And float them away for repairs if they need. The only problem, of course, is that anytime they have to make a repair, they have to close the entire traffic lane. Oh, the water on the right side is higher than the one on the left side. So, what is our water level as we are moving? Huh? How did we transition? Huh? Huh? How do we transition from this low water level to that level? The canal is the largest source of revenue for the country of Panama. It collects $1.8 billion 1. annually. Billion. Uh, and it has a revenue. It has several times. What does it cost for a ship this size to navigate through the canal? So I haven't seen the invoice today, but I know that when we came through here a year ago, Island Princess paid $366,000. See how the ground uh, goes up here, right at the <coughs> gate, it's on the other side of that gate. Water level is again higher than where we are right now. So I guess from one chamber to another is 27 feet higher. So how many times did they do that? Three? Three It's 20. 27 times three. And once we get through here, we're going to be in another place. People crossing, walking along the gates there. You know what they're doing. They probably work here. So we took a little br break and had our breakfast. And during that time, it looks like we passed that gate. And we're now on an even higher water level here. That was the gate we were behind earlier. That's a gate? Yeah. Okay, so this is the third gate. Um, 
Oh yeah, we're almost at the, uh, that's the Gatun Lake, right? Yes. Yeah, behind that gate is the Gatun Lake, the man-made lake we are. Uh, so we're up now, what's going to happen after that? So this is the third and final gate we have to go through. There's more gates on the other side of the lake. At, oh yeah? Yeah, you have to go back down. Oh, okay, so this is the gate, the final gate that takes us up. There are gates on the other side, but it's going to take us back to the ocean water level. Let's do a panoramic view. So, you can see here. Okay, we're about to cross another... another set of gates here you can see on this side of the gate water level is much lower compared to the right side there's the gate we just passed and then we are it looks like we're going to be entering the lake here look at all that rain Hello, oh, busy lunch time. What are you having? I had uh, cauliflower grunt. Oh yeah, I saw that. Well, and uh, carrots. Carrots and a uh, cheese and spinach uh, empanada. Oh yeah. Roasted potatoes and pasta. I'm having fish with tartar sauce, uh, Asian beef salad, noodle salad. Chips with guacamole, jalapeno, and salsa. And this, uh, what do you call this? Oh, yeah. And uh, pasta with cream sauce and hot and sour soup. What is that you're having now? It's a chocolate brownie. Chocolate brownie. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Tell me how it tastes. It's still raining, but as you can see, there's people in the swimming pool and even the hot tub. We're out here on deck seven. It's raining and there's thunder. I know you can hear. We're in the canal already. We are. We are in, what do you mean we're in the canal? Yeah, we have been in the canal. Oh, oh we're in the locks right now. This is the the bottom lake. Oh, lightning. Lightning. Well, Did you get that on the camera? Probably. And uh, you can hear the thunder. So we are still in the Panama Canal. We're still moving. It looks like we're gonna enter another lock. Yeah. Oh, my college. There is our tugboat, at least one of them. There's another one down there. Uh, the tugboats are really not pulling or tugging the ship. It just helps guide it through the locks that are really narrow. And as you can see over here, we're about to enter another lock. I'm not sure. Wow! Did you see that? Lightning and thunder. What's up? We're in a thunderstorm. We're going through the Panama Canal. We're exiting the canal. Uh, See this cargo ship here being guided by the mules. Those fancy, funky looking tractor look like galvanized iron. Oh, we're moving? Oh, yeah. We are actually moving into the lock now. I guess the lock is open. Those like, futuristic looking vehicles are called mules. And the mules are what's this, hanging on to ropes that help guide the uh, ship as it crosses. Those are two members of that silver London. Waving, waving. Now you can see, it's okay, it's just a little bit of water. The gates are closing now because that tanker just passed through it. This is how the gates close. Oh. I'm glad I was able to capture it. There's two sets of 
guys okay closing it now because that camper over there already got through it oh, it's close now it's almost completely close it's almost completely close Gates and I completely close. I guess they are, when they close, it's water tight, huh? Oh yeah. See the the level now on the left is higher than the one on the right, huh? Yep. So the water level on the left is higher than the one on the right. Uh. Oh, there's an observation station that they under construction, and then there's a lighthouse. actually going through the canal light now. We don't see the water on this side. This structure here is being built as the observation area. I guess tourists can come here and observe. And watch their boat sail away without them. <laughs> At least they can wave. And there's the lighthouse. What were you saying? We're so close to the ground here, and that's because we're going down on the lock, and the uh, boat is... Uh, uh, so the water level's going down? Yes. We're going... Yeah. Yes, you can Earlier actually we see it. The what? You can actually see that it's stopped. What do you see? What? You can see the ground, um, <laughs> us moving down in relationship to the ground, ground there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. See? Okay, let's see. You can actually see oh, yeah. Water. That is true. Just look at it so ever so slowly our ship is going down relative to the ground because the water is getting lower. So let's look if you can see the water level now. The water level is, you can't even see the water level because we're very low now. We're like, like uh, the same elevation as the ground here. We are the same elevation as this. Uh, it, that's amazing. You were so high earlier. Now we're in the same level as this. Views are. We are now below the ground level, huh? They've been lower than the ground level. Yeah. Huh, that's amazing. We're going down in level and level, level. Going down, down, down. Now we're like lower than the ground. That goes. Huh? I know. It's like a ramp down, and now there's the ground below us. Uh huh. So I think. Have we passed the gate? Have we passed the gate? I think the gate might be around there, huh? So we're leaving the canal now. I believe there's the. Black Lighthouse and there's Dave. This is where, see how it goes, the ground goes down here from the high level here. Oh, uh, the ship is going down now. Uh, up that ramp is, that's where we were before. And then we got to this side and now the water level is getting lower. And we are getting lower in the process. So pretty soon we'll be the same, the same level as this ground here. Huh. So that's how they do it. They make you cross a lock, right? Mm -hmm. And then what? They release the water to lower your level before you continue. Huh. We are now leaving our our last lock now see how much lower the water level is on this side oh there's another uh, ship that's going to enter so as they enter their water level is going to go up it's a busy area there's always ships trying to get go through you can see those four mules that are hanging on to the ropes that are attached cables. to the cables that are attached to the uh, ship. The mules are the ones that are actually guiding it to go through because it's very narrow so there's barely enough room on both sides for the ships to 
fit to. Look at that. That's how it's done. So it doesn't keep banging on the sides of... Huh. So this is a big carrier. A cargo ship. So I'm going to see the, I'm going to wait for the gates to open. The gate back there? Yeah. There's a gate back there? It's not yeah. closed yet? No. So they're going to close that and then what? Flood the water in to raise the, right? Yeah. To raise the ship. We are moving again now, leaving this lock here. Those two ships there, the water is still very low for them. But it's probably getting flooded as we speak so they can enter the next uh, gate there. There's the Atlantic Bridge. We're gonna go under that in a few miles. But for now, we're leaving this channel here. We're almost at the end of it. We're almost out of it. So, we basically have crossed the Panama Canal. Huh. Yep. Boats are now leaving us. We don't need their help anymore because we have passed through the Pan Panama Canal into ocean, open ocean water here. That's a good view of the locks. Where? Right there. Oh, that's a nice view of the lock, but it was too far. Those are the locks that we just went through. There's the bridge. The Atlantic Bridge. Puente Atlantico. That was me. We are on the port side of the, of the uh, of Deck 7. And here's that new bridge. I guess new. It was completed in 2019. Here's the bridge now. We're almost under it. And what did you say? That's where the two channels split. Where is it? Back there. Back. Oh, we passed it over right there. We we came from the right side, and we're entering open waters. And there's a bridge here called. Why is this called? It's the Puente Atlantico. Puente Atlantico. Atlantic Bridge. We're gonna be getting under it pretty soon. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to be under it. Make a video. Oh, no. So it's a very long suspension bridge connecting <coughs> up there in Scalone to the other side of this water. It used to be, they used to have ferries going back and forth here. Now they have the bridge. Okay, we're completely under the bridge now. Yay! We're completely under the bridge. Under the bridge. Atlantic bridge. Oh, this was completed in 2019. We are now on the other side of the bridge. Getting closer to open waters. Come here and let, let me take a picture of you. Under the bridge. Come on. Oh, come on. Here we go. There we go. Uh, let's wait a little more. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna move backwards. It's thunderstorm again. Oh, this one's good. I can almost see the whole entire bridge. Hello, what are you having? I'm having a rum and fruit drink. Rum and fruit, what kind of fruit? You forgot. Oh, there's coconut in it? I thought there was coconut. Right? No? Could be. I'm having a fruit bowl with cantaloupe, honeydew, what else? Oh, there's a mango and macadamia nuts. What's your main dish now? It's a quiche. What kind of quiche? Uh, goat cheese. Goat cheese again? Mm -hmm. What's that thing on the side? It's it looks spinach. like spinach. And what's that? The sauce. You don't know. How is it? 
I have two main dishes again. A Filipino dish, uh, um manok, uh, chicken with pineapple, and this seafood uh, thing. I forgot what it's called, but it's seafood. It has salmon and another kind of fish, uh, scallops, um, uh, shrimp. Yeah, and uh, with some jasmine rice in the bottom. Dessert time. Yep. And what have you got there? It's a banana chocolate uh, mousse tart. Banana chocolate mousse tart. I don't see banana. Maybe the orange things are the yellow things are banana. Ah. And I'm having carrot cake. It looks really good. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Live entertainment at the piazza. What is that song they're playing? I have no idea. I often wondered when I knew I would be old. And then it suddenly hit me. I was at a thrift store and I purchased a coat which I had donated three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm forgetting things. Somebody told me, you know, the monkeys, remember the monkeys? Three of them were dead. I said, oh, I guess that just leaves Ringo. <laughs> Even my furniture is getting old. My memory foam mattress now has dementia. <laughs> Thinks I weigh 500 pounds. <laughs> Every morning I literally climb out of bed. And there's differences between your 60s and your 70s, I've noticed. In my 60s, I walk into a room and I go, I forgot what I walked in here for. In my 70s, I'm in my neighbor's garage. <laughs> took my dog for a walk. He pooped twice and I was jealous. <laughs>